hello everyone welcome to uh, solve this math algebra problem and here we have 3x minus 2 square root equals to 2 plus square root of x and we solve this problem for the values of x so the very first thing we are going to do is here first uh, we just take the squaring on both of the sides of the given equation and we write the above equation in this form so we have 3x minus 2 and its whole square root equals to 2 plus square root of x and its whole square so now in the uh, in the next step uh, you see here we have in the left hand side this 2 and square root are cancelled by each other and we obtain here 3x minus 2 equals 2 and in the right hand side uh, we use here the uh, square identity so according to this identity we open this term and we write it as 2 square plus square root of x square plus 2 times of 2 into square root of x and now here we need a little bit simplifications uh, so now we move towards to simplify this equation and here first uh, we open the 2 square it is equals to plus 4 and here you see that this 2 and square root are cancelled by each other and we get plus x and we multiply this 2 times of 2 and it is equals to plus 4 times of uh, square root of x and now in the next step we isolate uh, the square root term uh, in one side and all the other terms to the uh, left hand side so we move this plus 4 and plus x in the left hand side and we obtain 3x minus 2 because this is plus 4 when we move in left hand side it is minus 4 and this is plus x when we move in the left hand side it will becomes minus x and this whole equals to 4 times of uh, square root of x so now we add or subtract the like terms and we have 3x minus x becomes 2x minus 2 minus 4 equals to minus 6 and this is whole equal to 4 times of uh, square root of uh, x and here you see that we have to be the common uh, term on both of the sides so that we divide both of the term both of the sides by 2 in this way and this 2 and 2 are cancelled and we get x minus this 2 times of 3 uh, 2 times of 3 will become 6 and it is equal to 2 times of 2 is 4 into square root of x and now in the next step uh, uh, we need to eliminate uh, this uh, term this square root term so that we take again the square on both of the sides so uh, in the next step we open this square identity and we get x square plus 9 minus 2 times of uh, x into 3 and it is equals to here we have 2 and the square of 2 will becomes 4 and this 2 and square root are gone and you get here plus x only and now we arrange the terms and we move uh, 4x uh, from right hand side to the left hand side and we obtain x square minus we have 2 times of 3 is 6x and this is plus 9 and we move this 4x in the left hand side and it will be equals to minus 4x and this whole equals to 0 so in the next step we add or subtract the like terms and we have x square and this minus 4x sorry minus 6x minus 4x equals to minus 10x and plus 9 equals to 0 so uh, in the next step we need to make the factors of uh, this equation and we find the values of x so that here uh, we break our uh, middle term so here our middle term will be minus 10 uh, and we write this uh, uh, minus 10 as x square because here we need 
uh, two numbers whose product is plus 9 and when we add these two numbers we get minus 10 so these are minus 9x and we have minus x plus 9 equals to 0 so now we uh, take uh, common x from the first two terms and we get x times of x minus 9 and here we take common minus 1 and you get uh, x minus 9 and this whole equals to 0 so in the next step uh, you see that x minus 9 be the common factor on both of the terms so we get x minus 9 times of x minus 1 equals to 0 and in the next step we have two cases here so our first case is we write x minus 9 equals to 0 and the second case is we write x minus 1 equals to 0 so you get the first value of x will be 9 and here you get the value of x will be 1 so we have two values of x the one is 9 and the other is 1 so now we uh, check our solutions or our given uh, roots which we find here so we find two roots it is 9 and 1 so now we check uh, in which root are the solution of the given equation and which roots are the extraneous root so uh, now first uh, we check this given equation at x equals to 9 so when you substitute x equals to 9 in the both of the sides of this equation uh, then you get its output in this form 3 times of 9 minus 2 square root equals to 2 plus square root of 9 so now we uh, simplify the terms and you get 3 times of 9 will be 27 minus 2 square root equals to 2 plus the square root of 9 will be 3 so here you obtain 25 square root equals to 5 and we know that the square root of 5 will be 5 square root of 25 will be 5 and we have 5 so you see that both of the sides are equal so it means that x equals to 9 satisfies the given equation so x equals to 9 be the one solution of the given equation and now we move towards for checking uh, x equals to 1 so we check this root is this root satisfies the given question or not so here this is the our question statement and now we put uh, x equals to 1 and we obtain 3 times of 1 square root minus 2 equals to 2 plus square root of 1 so you have 3 times of 1 will be 3 and 3 minus 2 becomes uh, 1 and here you have the square root of 1 will be 1 and you see that it is 1 equals to 3 so we know that 1 is not equals to 3 so it is not possible uh, and it means that x equals to 1 is not the solution of the given uh, equation but this root uh, is called the extraneous root uh, so we write here this is the extraneous root and we have the only one solution of this problem which is x equals to 9 and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos